How's it going, everybody? It's been a while since I have put my face on this channel. Um, I've been making lots of videos recently, but all of those in the past, I don't know, two and a half months were uh, scheduled beforehand. So I, I made them months ago and scheduled them beforehand because I knew that a lot of very, very interesting things were going to happen. I had a kid. It's been really, really fun. Uh, really tiring too, but that's all I'll say. I, I had a kid, but I wanted to share this story um, that happened just a couple months ago. No, it was just a couple weeks ago. I was on uh, my nearby university campus, working with some students, evangelizing to other students. And one tactic that we've used that we found really, really helpful is we've set up some kind of whiteboard. And the best part is it's not a whiteboard that's just sitting there on a pedestal or on a stand, but it's something, it's this little whiteboard that I had hanging up on my wall that I wasn't using. And I was like, well, I might as well use it out there. So it's this, I don't know, like this big, something like that. And I just hold it. We have a question on there and then people can come by and answer the question, put a tally mark down for their answer and boom, you got to start to a conversation. So, um, I think the question that we had this week, this week recently, was uh, what's your worldview? And then we had Christian, Muslim, atheist, agnostic, other, um, stuff like that. And the vast majority of the people that we have for these evangelistic encounters at least say that they're Christians. We had been out there for, I don't know, two hours. It was like 10 to 12. And some of the students had to go to class or go get lunch or something like that. So it ended up just being me out there a little bit after 12. And so the big lunch crowd had gone by, the big crowd of students that just got out of class around that time had gone by, and it was kind of slow. But I just decided to, to do a quick prayer and say, send me somebody that would be one last really good deep conversation to have. Because a lot of the times people just come by and they put a mark on the board and, you know, they say, you know, that's my worldview. And you ask them why and they give some kind of noncommittal answer and then they're off getting lunch or class or whatever. And most of the people just say no and they just pass by. So you don't get a lot of really in-depth conversations, but when you do, they're awesome. So not that much longer after that, three students came by. And this, start, this sounds like the beginning of a bad joke. A Muslim student, a Christian student, and an uh, agnostic or atheist or something. Just so you know, you're probably hearing a baby cry in the background, so there's proof that I actually had a kid. Um, sorry about that. Anyway, interestingly, the Christian ended up kind of leaving and going pretty quickly. I think he went to lunch or something. Eventually, the Muslim guy decided this was too much for him or something. He decided, okay, I'm going to go. But he said he'd be back. Um, I hope to see him again. But the third guy, the agnostic guy, had been really interested in some of the stuff I brought up to the Muslim. Um, and the stuff that I was saying to this Muslim guy, uh, real quick, he was saying, he was a relativist. He was saying, uh, you can just have your worldview and I'll just have mine. And then I immediately brought it to, well, don't you think that there's certain worldviews that are wrong, like, isn't it wrong to have the Holocaust, for example? It's always, you know, you bring it back to something like that super quick, and then it, hopefully, it becomes really obvious to somebody that, oh yeah, I guess some worldviews are wrong. But he really wasn't, uh, he wasn't setting a boundary there, at like, oh yeah, that's a bit too far. Um, it kind of went over his head, but his two friends got it, especially this agnostic kid. And so that guy ended up staying. And he said, no, 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 guys, I'll catch you later. And we talked for, I think, an hour straight. He was asking really awesome questions, really inquisitive questions. And I could tell that he was really actually interested in what I had to say. And it wasn't this fire and brimstone kind of preaching. I was really just answering this guy's questions and letting the spirit lead me as to what to say next. Um, I know I've done a lot of research on this, this kind of stuff. I really enjoy apologetics and answering people's questions. But when it comes to actually pulling it up, um, like flipping through the file folder in my head and pulling this stuff up in a conversation, it can often be really difficult for me to actually remember, hey, what was the answer to that? But it was just flow and it was just going really well this time. He was asking about 
uh, the Mosaic law, for example, like why don't Christians have to follow such and such laws from the Old Testament? If if you become a Christian, do you have to do all this kind of stuff? And um, are you a good person intrinsically? Um, do you have to be a good person to get to heaven? That kind of stuff. And I talked to him about the general idea of the gospel, why Jesus had to be both God and man. I explained the Trinity. I explained... Um, why the cross is important and why it's necessary for our, our salvation, why we have to repent. I mean, all of this general um, fundamental Christian stuff that I had not talked with anybody in public that deeply with before. Um, it was just it was just flowing really well and he was just soaking it up. It was really, really cool. He said, man, I really feel like I learned a lot. Like, for example, what church generally talks about the Mosaic Law and the three different types of laws from the Mosaic Law, the civil, the ceremonial, and the moral laws. Um, you don't really hear that kind of stuff in the church. You should, by the way. But this guy heard it. I want to leave this as a really encouraging example of what you can do just in spending a couple hours on a college campus, for example. It goes to show for me and hopefully for you that when you genuinely ask God for things that are in alignment with his will, he shows up. He, he totally shows up and these amazing things happen. Let me know if you like this more kind of personal side of uh, talking about apologetics because I do a lot of really kind of polished videos, but this is a lot more casual and personal. So let me know what you think. Um, in the comments, let me know if you've had conversations like this and how they went. And either way, I'll see you next time.